question is how the art of the deal has changed over the 30 years, and, and the answer is in so many ways, but just to, to tick off the, some of the most important ones. Uh, 30 years ago, uh, really very few people knew how to buy or sell a company. They, it was kind of this small group of lawyers and accountants and some private equity folks, some corporate development folks. The process was convoluted. It could take months or years. It culminated with uh, scores of folks showing up in, in hotels and lawyers' offices. And do you remember those stacks of papers that used to have to be stuck, done vertically because there wasn't enough surface area on the tables to sign them all? I actually can't remember the last time we bought a company with a physical closing. I mean, everything today is done virtually, it's done digitally, it's done seamlessly and electronically. Um, market terms are well understood. Um, literally tens of thousands of people have been schooled in how to buy and sell a company. Lawyers, accountants, uh, business brokers, wealth advisors, commercial bankers, investment bankers. Owners are today very sophisticated in private equity, 5,000 firms around the world. So the, the understanding of the process um, is well understood. It's become much more intermediated with outstanding investment bankers standing between buyers and sellers. And transaction, the process of doing a transaction has become um, somewhat commoditized. But the, the most important part of a deal, which is uh, figuring out the right company and then structuring the right deal to achieve the ultimate objective, still remains the art of the deal, and it's still uh, the key to a successful deal, but all the other stuff has become uh, much more routinized. And then the other thing I'll point out is just, um, and I love this, the range of industries in which we can invest in today has broadened so much. Once upon a time, you could invest in any company, so long as it was pretty much a manufacturer or a distributor that you could buy for five times EBIT. Today, we can invest in almost any industry, um, in almost any country, and, and had to be in the US. Today, it's any country, uh, and um, and uh, including at, at multiples uh, well into the double digits. Um, that's good news because it creates a lot more opportunity for folks like uh, Riverside um, and, and, and other great private equity firms here in Cleveland and beyond. But it's um, bad news in the sense is it forces us to be expert in so many more areas and you can't be an expert in, every, in anything. So you really need to pick your space. Ken, I love that you're so focused on one industry um, and our folks increasingly have had a focus on one of the seven verticals where, where we are deep experts.